They are not going back to routine. In fact, they're going on strike. As Israel's government eases the restrictions imposed in the wake of the coronavirus pandemic, Arab Israelis aren't happy. It's been an especially tough time for them. Israel's Arab minority comprises about 20% of the population, the majority of whom live in towns and communities run by local municipalities, who now say they're halting all services until further notice. We see that we won't be able to provide our services to our people because we are on the verge of collapse. We try to fight this with petitions and protests, but unfortunately, in the end, we had to go on a strike. The unemployment rate for Arab citizens jumped from 17.6% in March to 25.5% in April. But Israel's Ministry of Interior says the government is helping these communities overcome the hardships of the COVID-19 crisis. The ministry allocated payments for food vouchers consisting tens of thousands of shekels and gave money for respite to essential services and ensure their continual work wasn't hindered. The ministry also created an awareness campaign for Arab towns, created local hotlines and help centers. Local leaders say these actions are not enough and allocations were a miscalculation. We received 407 million shekels, which is just 1.7 percent of the total amount given to communities for this crisis. We are 18 percent of the population, and we received just 1.7 percent of the total budget for compensation. In the Arab towns, there are less businesses, and that money was allocated proportionally to the number of businesses. That's the result of a policy of discrimination. What did they do? Because we have less businesses, our slice of the relief package was much less. And they insist these municipalities are on the verge of collapse because residents can't afford to pay their taxes. These very days, the ministry is also discussing the possibility of giving tax compensation for municipal taxes and relief funding for lower socioeconomic class. The Interior Ministry will continue to stand by all the local authorities in Israel and help them in any way required. My town has a reputation for a high percentage of doctors. Really, we have hundreds of doctors and hundreds of healthcare workers. Some of them even got sick during this crisis. Thank God they are okay. They were proud to work in hospitals from the north of the country all the way to the south. And they deserve praise. Over the course of the crisis, many Jewish businesses have also said they haven't received adequate funds. But leaders of these Arab towns say they will stay on strike until they get the funds they require. Emily Rose, I-24 News.